Hey, hello everyone, I'm Adzap, and welcome to Ghostware Trespasser. Now, I believe that this is supposed to be some sort of, like, uh, small free demo type thing for another project that the developers are working on. Maybe develop or developer, editor me, maybe put up some more detail around here. Um, because I can't quite remember what it is, but... Uh, basically, as far as I know, is that there's something about a robot, something about an, a trespassing about a place, and uh, not a whole lot of audio right now, so hopefully it doesn't explode. Uh, the moment of truth, September 10th, 1993. Um, they are only as strong as the people allow them to be, but truth is denouncing their actions can only produce minuscule res results. A concrete effort is needed. Thank you for your support throughout these years of investigations, and to all the trolls who came to my blog to ridicule. This is the night I will put you in front of the truth once and for all. I won't name names, but thank you for your for the spare copy. You know who you are. Next entry of this blog will be very interesting, believe me. Okay, so some weird blog post that's kind of written a little interestingly. Um, and again, apologies if the game is loud at all. There's So far, there hasn't been hardly any audio, but... Ooh, okay, I need to... Jeez, the, the motion blur on this bad boy. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, do I enter the void? Oh, gosh. There's not a whole lot of audio here. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I, there's, there's some audio, so let me turn down the game volume real quick now. Just to help you guys out. Okay, so... Yeah, the audio should be a little bit quieter, or much quieter now for you guys, so it doesn't blast your ears, hopefully. Um, eh. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Uh-oh. No, no, I don't want to go in here. Okay. I'm. Gosh, for once I actually move fast in a horror game. Holy crap. And I'm not even sprinting. At least I don't think so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got scared by a door opening when I walk approached it. <laughs> okay, uh, E to interact. Oh yeah, only one more to go. Heck yeah, man. That's some things. It's not even real code, but okay. Uh, why'd you make a third noise? Oh man, can I crouch? Is there a crouch button? I don't appear to have a crouch button. Uh, that one just straight up doesn't open. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's see. Um. You are staticky. Oh, okay. I just. I just have to go the long way around for this. I see. Uh, what is this? I don't know. There's something cool. That, I'm trying to figure out what's happening right now. We're in some very lonely factory here. Is that a mouse? Is that an excuse for a mouse? What the frick? <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> uh, I, I do notice that it has a lot. It has the old fashioned. Uh, oh, that just goes into the floor. Okay. <laughs> uh, that has the old fashioned um, computers where they're kind of more like cubes and stuff. I mean, obviously, this is more like a low poly gone version of that but um gosh my flashlight's also not very powerful but yeah it seems to be but the technology seems to be kind of like 90s feel to it you know uh, okay i can access the second level now i didn't know that's what i was trying to do but okay uh is the second level over here uh i guess so Okay. Where am I? Why did I come here? I need a lot of context, I feel like. I know that they did say that this was like some sort of kind of like teaser demo thing for another project of theirs, but I feel like it would be nice to have a little bit more context. I need a security badge to open this door. Okay. So, do we just check the rooms and stuff? I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for lore or something, or like what. 
That's just a staticky screen. That's cool. Absolute nightmare having a staticky screen. Oh, this one's a very staticky screen. This will... Oh, was there a security badge there? I didn't see it. I just saw the, the staticky screen. Um, any of these open? No? Okay. Uh, I guess I just go over here then. So far, so good. I like the creepy atmosphere. I'm waiting for something to happen. Ooh. Oh, they're making the machines. Uh, creepy music starting. I know you're confused, understand so, but if you are patient, things will become clear. Arena of the Dead. Okay, okay, so that's the other project uh, I believe they're working on. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little sh nice short thing. I think um, I think it's okay. It uh, Obviously, it doesn't have any jump scares or anything. Um, I think it would have been interesting if there was a little bit more to creep me out because it was just kind of a dark atmosphere. And that was it. I, and like the, the mechanics were like pretty simple. It's very simple. I think it was almost too simple, but I, I think, it, I mean, overall it's good. It, there's just nothing wrong with it. I just think like there could have been more, you know? <laughs> um. Anyways, I this is part of three scary games. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next game. Then. Next up, we have Beetlebum Resident Weevil, <laughs> the demo uh, build. Um. Yeah, so uh yeah, this is this is like this is a game that I found. It's uh apparently I see my kinda expect from the Resident Weevil, you know, Resident Evil, uh <laughs> but we This is basically as far as I know, it's a bug or beetle themed like Resident Evil game. Um and it's, <laughs> that's all I really know about it. Uh on a long night drive through the countryside. Oh, I actually probably shouldn't read. There was a controls thing I probably should have read. Uh, you fell asleep at the wheel. You wake to find yourself in an unfamiliar location. As well as in an unfamiliar body. You must escape. I like the introduction so far. Oh, oh gosh. Why is it reversed or er, weird? Okay, there we go. A clock without a face. Better leave it be. Uh, the bed I woke up in was very uncomfortable. Gosh, oh, jeez, this is... I, I, so I never really played the uh, any of the old Resident Evil games or anything, so this is going to be hard for me because I'm not used to tank controls. A uh, small lamp. The lamp doesn't seem to be... Uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be an off switch. See, it's a wardrobe. The doors have both but glued shut. Aw oh, man, I can't even dress up my beetle self. The chest of drawers, every drawer is glued shut. Okay, well this room's just no fun. Ooh, interesting. I do like how it is like pre-rendered backgrounds and everything. Or at least it kind of has that feel of it. Maintenance access. Is that how you spell maintenance? Probably, I don't know. Something feels wrong about it. Um, let's check out maintenance access first. I guess. Oh, jeez. Ah, run away from the weird... <laughs> Guys. Oh, gosh. Uh, grab her. Oh, gosh. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. I can't get past them. Okay, I think I need to see the controls. Uh, I I only know interact and thing. I don't. Okay, I I didn't know the I don't know the controls. I mean, yes, I died. Fortunately, it seems that as though you have died. Thank you. Pick yourself up and glue. Or <laughs> I thought that said glue. <laughs> Give it another go. I know you have it in you. Okay, hold on. We need to. I need to re review the controls. Oh, I can. Oh, I can put in a controller. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need my controller for this.
Okay, I have my controller set up now, and I think I better understand the controls on. Let me see if this works. Um. No button seems to be working. Maybe I have to just do it with keyboard for now. I fell asleep at the wheel. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if the if I can move properly. Nope, I am not able to move. Oh, oh okay. Controller works now. Yes, okay. We can actually play this now. And it, it also, when I reloaded the game, it said it worked, played best on the controller, so that's even better now. Oh, and I can control normally. Uh, if you want to, uh, I did see that if you wanted to use tank controls, you can use the D-pad, but I'm, uh, I'm not exactly interested in doing tank controls. <laughs> no, thank you. I am a modern gamer. I was not born in the, the tank control era. Or at least I didn't grow up playing that kind of game. Uh, okay. Now let's, the moment of truth. Okay, we can sprint over here. Oh, crap. Why does it freaking turn me around? <laughs> okay, and then... Ow. Oh, I shot one. Die, die! Okay, I have to use like all my ammo. Okay, am I am I okay? Jeez, okay, that was that was intense. <laughs> I am wounded, I think. Uh oh jeez, he gets back up! No, go through the door! <laughs> I like the sprint though, it's kind of amusing. Oh, oh there's more to this place, I didn't even notice. Uh, it's a huge clock that doesn't seem to turn. Aw, oh, man. It's these paintings, but they're pixelated. Um, maybe something in here? Okay, I can't open that. It is a little weird that it bas so basically it, it, um, when you're running in one direction, it, it holds that in, like, the next, uh, like camera and it kind of tries to like do weird things with it i don't know how else to explain it but Let's see this elevator is probably my best bet out of here yes can i oh hmm seems it's missing a fuse and a switch okay so we need to find that all right uh, uh, gosh see like yeah like for some reason it just keeps them like i was holding up but it was making me go to like a different direction than what I was trying to actually do. I I don't know if that's intentionally done or if that's just like a weird bug, but oh, they don't die. Oh yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> we found ten more bullets. So I think yeah, I can. One of these other buttons lets me check my ammo and everything. Okay, actually, uh, oh gosh, just go through the door. <laughs> gosh, the controls are kind of weird. Okay, I think I'm fully loaded, reloaded now. So I should be able to shoot him. What the? How did he hit me from right there? Jeez, they take so many bullets to kill. I have no idea what that mirror means. <laughs> okay, I figured out how to at least see how many bullets. Oh gosh, can I can I interact with the? No, I don't want to interact with the door. I want to interact with the bullets that are on the ground. Silly game. Me and my beetle brain can't figure this out. Apparently. Is that... Okay, there we go. I had to just walk into the wall a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, we picked up the fuse. Okay, nice. That's a big fuse. Uh, I'm sorry. Aw, oh, why are you being sorry about? Oh, gosh. 
Why can't I shoot? Oh. Uh, does my health regenerate at all? I don't think so. Okay, can I reload then? Oh wait, it's, it's shot now. Gosh, I, I don't understand the, the, the check ammo thing. Okay, well, I died. <laughs> Man, it's it's kind of hard to... the. Okay, yeah, it seems... Unfortunately, it seems that you have died. Pick yourself up again. Okay, uh... <laughs> Jeez, is there like a... Well, is there like health anywhere? I mean, I know I'm looking at the settings, but like... I think I need just something that gives me health. Because I, I... It's really hard to kill them without getting hit at least once. Because they have a lot of hits on them. Okay, pick up some more ammo. Uh, check my, okay. Oh, so now we're low on ammo, so I should reload. Now I am back to full. I also keep pressing the check ammo button for some reason, because normally it's, it's, uh, hold on, let me go grab the, and go into the fuse room. So basically what it is, is that the bottom button is the, uh, the shoot button, but it's also the use but interact button, and this button is the, uh, check ammo button, and then this button is the reload button. <laughs> it's very clunky. And you can only check your ammo while you're aiming for some reason. Um, so yeah, it's just very clunky controls. I, I, again, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be intentional or not. Um, if it is intentional, it is very good job. Oh, gosh. No, stop hitting me. Ah. It won't let me grab the thing. And now I'm stuck here and I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't look. He just pushes you into the corner and kills you. Just slaps you to death. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Scoop. Okay. Oh. oh, I think he still hit me. Crap. Okay. What the? Why did you just hit me? I just took damage for no reason. Come on, game. Okay. What is hitting me? Is... Am I poisoned or something? Like, what is hitting me? So confused. Okay. I have a key. Okay, apparently it's not that key. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe it's the, the key to the other room up here. I noticed that there was another, there was a locked room over here. Uh, past the clock. Oh, heck yeah, man. Uh-oh. Oh. Mine. No! <laughs> Jeez, they, they... They deal so much damage. Oh, there's another one. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. They don't really seem to notice me, though. So I guess I'll just ignore him. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I see this. I see more ammo over here. Gosh, can I get some health, please? This is really a difficult, man. Oh, gosh. No! Oh, <laughs> dang it, man. Gosh, I gotta figure out how to not get hurt so much. Like, there, there's no heal button, right? There's, there's quick turn, but that doesn't really help me. Okay. Okay. I'm back to here with much more health and more bullets. And I just got even more bullets. Okay. Now I know I need to just pretty much reload every time I am 
in the same spot. I know that I can encounter any an enemy at any moment. Uh, grab this key. Office key. I'm assuming that's for the one downstairs. Gosh. I hate when the game just decides to force me into a direction no matter what input I give it. <laughs> okay. Zoom. I gotta grab the office. Or go to the office. Uh, yeah. And I, I actually... I've, I've, Sort of accidentally forgot to uh, kill that guy. <laughs> well, you know, it's okay. Uh, hold on. Can I check my gun? I assume I need to reload. Just, re just reload whatever you, whenever you can, you know. Just a good rule of thumb playing this, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Um... Oh, switch. Okay, nice. Uh, reload. Okay, now I should be able to get to the elevator then, right? Oh, gosh. Gotta avoid the dude up here. Nice. Okay, avoided him. And... Okay. Put in the stuff. Oh, heck yeah, go! And for now, it seems like that is all the time we have. Excuse me. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was it. Um, okay, so really fun game. I actually really enjoyed this one. This was, uh, was really funny, kind of a funny concept of, oh, you're playing as a beetle. Um, I, I would like to see some beetle puns in there or something like that. Um, and... Yeah, I think overall control wise it was fine. There was some times where and again, I don't know if this was intentional or not. Um, but it would be when I whenever I would enter a room, it would seem like it would just like almost just like pick a direction and then just force me to go that way whenever I did inputs. And so I had to like input, then stop and then input again to actually go where I wanted to uh, on the uh, analog movement on the tech movement. It's probably fine, but very fun game overall. I really like this and I hope um, to see the full release and hopefully that it, the full release is very good. So um, it does well. So yeah, obviously check this link description below um, to uh, support the developers and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next game. All right, this is Nine Child Street. A rather weird name for this game, uh, and obviously it's a demo, but, uh, okay, yeah, let's, uh, see. Um, oh, is this gonna... Let's just put the sensitivity at a nice medium. Yeah, maybe like there, okay. Um, also the room's apparently going from red to blue, I don't know what's happening, but uh, let's just see what happens. All I know is that I think we're playing as a child. Armin, the protagonist of our story, was a very curious boy. He is about to turn nine years old. After his birthday, he began to notice strange things strange things happening in the abandoned house across the street. One night, when he saw the light in the window, he finally decided to go to this mysterious house. Aw, uh, Armin, or whatever your name was, I already forgot. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, jeez. Jesus, this is not scary at all. Get into the house. Face through the boards. Also, this is way too high sensitivity, and why am I leaning like I'm freaking drunk or something? I have to climb over the climb, climb the dumpster. That's got some aggressive flies. Okay. Uh, check the front door. You know. Dang it! I can't. Jeez, this is a big house. Where is that? Oh, is that a swing set? I don't see any swing. Oh, there's a swing set. Nope, this is not a swing set. This is a uh, this thing. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, well, what is this? 
Oh, a slide. There we go. <laughs> I can't tell. Okay. Um. I don't like how that door opened. I'm in the room with light on the second floor. Okay. There's a big honking uh, dresser in the way. I assume I can't drunk my way up over that. Um. See the objective in the menu. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, so how do I get up there? Up upstairs then. Jeez, why am why am I uh oh. Uh who turned on the TV? I can't turn it off. Oh hey. A, a, an unfortunate face man. Okay, so that TV turned on by itself. Very cool. Why did that door have a different sound than everything else? Oh, jeez. I thought there was someone coming down that staircase. <laughs> jeez. Just throw a soccer ball at me? How rude. And I can't open the door even from this side, even though I'm clearly opening it. <laughs> uh... Hello, Jack. I am a longtime fan of yours, and I really love your work. I would like to get an exclusive doll. Please answer. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. Oh, why'd you close the door? I was waiting for you. Uh, okay, I can't leave. I can't leave the room. Do I have to read this? This is for you, Artman. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, what do I do about that? Uh, no, thank you, please. Do I not look at it? Do I approach it? I think I have to approach him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, that it's kind of loses the scary factor when you just have him standing at the end of the hall like that. But okay. I uh, now now this thing has a dresser in front of it. Jeez, man. You and your dressers. Um. I have to leave the house somehow. Can't open that door, okay. Um, what is that picture? Looks like someone holding an like a doll that has this weird wooded like head on it. Oh, that's not a good picture. Oh, and he's just got a skull there. Okay, so whoever actually lived in this house was not very cool. I always knew that children attracted me, carry good in them, in my house and in me. This good has always been absent. Now, okay, dude's not weird at all. Okay, I don't, I didn't really want to open that door anyways. Okay, can I go down the staircase, please? Is that just me going down the steps or what? This base is freaking killing me right now. Oh no, he boarded up the back door. I guess I have to go through the front door. What is that eyeball? That's a nasty eyeball photo. Really need to fix up your photos, sir. I don't think it's going to be very appealing to gas. Uh, I think the front door was over this way. Oh, jeez, that... You want to go that way, huh? You want to go that way, huh? You can't. And I'm the one kicking the ball now. <laughs> okay, um... That's blocked off, of course. Uh... I'm just gonna keep doing that. Is there something I'm supposed to do with the... Oh, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is my light flickering? Why is my light flickering? Am I dying? 
I'm dying of fear. Actually, why is my life flickering? It's flickering a lot right now. Find the source of crying. I don't want to find the source of crying. I'll bust the keys above the TV. Oh gosh. Show yourself, monster! I'm gonna kill you with my nine year old fists! Oh. That is not terrifying at all. Can I just go past you without. Okay. Cool, dude. Oh my gosh. There's a dude there. Luis lives. She turned nine. I built her a slide in the backyard. Steve is my new nine-year-old friend. In honor of this, I built a swing. And, oh, so I think this is some weird dude who's like kidnapping children or something. How do I get up there? How do I grab the key? I'm not tall enough. I'm a freaking nine-year-old. Can I push the table? Go oh, table. Uh... Eh. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> how do I get key? Do I need to grab a chair, maybe? In, like, a kitchen or something? Where's the kitchen at? It's the front door. Can't grab a chair. Oh, never mind. I got a chair. Okay. Jeez, I'm a strong nine-year-old. Uh oh, what's happening? Why is everything going spooky mode? Uh oh, it's red. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. That's a real not good sign, man. Oh, that just snapped there. Okay. Grab a key. Okay, not an immediate jump scare, but probably one soon, right? I feel like I'm due for one. Are you still over here, by the way? Okay, yeah, you are. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are you doing this time? I'm going to die soon. Doesn't really make me sad. I want to do the last job. Connect the children so that they live peacefully. Connect the children? What's that mean? Oh, do I have to follow the blood trail? Oh, jeez. Oh, my light's flickering again. Oh no, the whispering's getting kind of loud, sir. Oh no, oh no, I have to go in the basement, yo. No, I don't want to go in your basement. Jeez. Uh, is that Santa Claus? Santa Claus, are you dead? Uh, what do I do now? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, that one actually kind of made me laugh. <laughs> Just, <brah. laughs> it was again a dream about this strange house. 
soon Armin will go to it. Oh, okay, that was it. Oh, that was awesome. That was really good. That was one of the scariest games I've played in a real long time. That was, that genuinely made me nervous for everything because it was like, it, I mean, it had some jump scares, but it also just had like a lot of like, I think it, it, it this game just nailed the ambiance because it was not afraid of jump scaring you. And obviously you don't want to get jump scared, but it also knew when to use it in a man, usually in a manner that would make it you like fear that you're going to get jump scared. And you're like, no, please, I don't want to get attacked or whatever. I, I think this was really good. This is uh, one of the better uh, horror games that I played, I think. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah, just again, with all, uh, as with all these, go, um, go, if you want to check out the game for yourself, you can go find it in the link in the description below, and, uh, yeah, go support the developer for this, um, it's great work, or they do great work, I don't know who they are, but, <laughs> uh, does this close out the game? Okay, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, I guess that's it for my face carry games.